events video. I do like doing these events ones, um, it's nice to get out and about, especially in heritage buses like the one I'm currently sat on, that is X West Riding 724, one of the Ethel registered vehicles. I'm currently on this on a feeder bus on my way over to Skipton um, for the 2021 Skipton bus running day that is taking place on the Sunday the 10th of October 2021. They're scheduled to be around 30 vehicles in service, just over 30, around this kind of vintage. So it is an older vehicle sort of vintage running day that, to be fair, I do tend to like. It's nice to sort of put in a bit of variety and have a little bit of a change from all the rear engine buses all the time. So this is going to be a relatively older bus running day and has some spectacular routes across North Yorkshire, expanding from Skipton into the Yorkshire Dales. So as I say, we're currently on this bus on a feeder run over to Skipton, we're taking a direct route, we're currently passing through Keith actually, behind there um, they used to hold a transport gathering um, back in the early 2000s, um, fun fact over there, but we're not going to that one, they haven't done one there in about two decades now. So we're on our way over to Skipton, um, hopefully going to ride on some routes, I'm going to try and pick as a selection of interesting routes, it keeps you all entertained, some really scenic runs and we'll hopefully sample some really interesting vehicles with, some, with hopefully some interesting history behind them. So I'll show you a few more clips of the route that we take over to Skipton and I'll see you all when we get there. So it's now 5 to 10, um, the event officially starts at 10, so we have arrived a little bit early and it's quite nice. Got a fair few hours here, so this will hopefully be the first ride. So this one has a nice different layout upstairs. It's one of these low height ones and these low height vehicles had the walkway on the right hand side um, and a bit lower down just so they could get all the seats in. Quite a lot of leg room at the front as well. Someone as tall as me that's just over six foot may struggle to get into some of these seats. Thank you, see you later. Okay, see you later. Okay. So here we are, a short trip on that, and now to the rally site itself. This is where the vehicles park up, some of which you'll be doing service, some won't be today. So we'll have a little look around as that sets off now to go around town. So we didn't spend long at the site. I'm overtaking a ride on these um, Wayman bodied Markham and Haitian number 73, an old favourite of mine.
So I bumped into Liam now. Say hello, Liam. Hello. Hiya. Bumped into him, um, and with his famous YouTube as well, and we've decided that we're going to do a little trip on a town run. So there's two buses doing it. We're choosing 410, that's an ex-Bradford one, because it is ex-Bradford. I do love my Bradford buses um, for the town circular. So also had a recent refurbishment inside. As you can see all the seats um, look freshly retrimmed. But I must say, it does look the part. So we've just done a short little run around to the Rella site. Again, this time I won't get distracted when we're looking around the buses. Some of you will notice as well that there's a few more here now. So hopefully it'll be a bit more worthwhile having a little look at them. So obviously a great affiliation within sort of Yorkshire and sort of North Yorkshire is Ribble, who play a big part in sort of the North of England in Lancashire and did come into sort of Skipton on further field services. A few other examples of vehicles are here. There's also a few other guest vehicles like this one, um, a United Counties vehicle, looking very immaculate in that livery. Alongside other stuff like the Pennine um, Leyland National. Pennine themselves were a long established operator around the Skipton area, operating local services for a fair few decades. They did close back in the early 2010s, however, regularly on the day before this event, on the Saturday, they do local sort of recreation running days, of which I have taken my solo to one before. This Leyland National itself is repowered by Volvo is their LN19. Um, near the end of their operation, they did use primarily Dennis Darts, um, having step entrance ones and then going into low floor Dennis Darts shortly before the closure. As we make our way around as well, there's a vehicle, so there's Kenzie's and one of their coaches over there. Alongside a few sort of smaller vehicles and John Fishwick Sons. Again, another long gone operator like Pennine Motor Services were very long established um, again closed relatively recently actually after operating services around Preston for a fair few decades. Although in the latter few years primarily just used single deck buses. After a few years in the restoration, I'm going to take a ride on this. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. See you later. See ya. So this has only just been restored as this one, it spent a lot of time in, in storage at Keeper Bus Museum and has recently been adopted by the Air Valley Transport Group um, and yes, the year coach hire. Um, who have now restored it to this immaculate state that it's in, looking incredibly nice. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, you have a good day. <sighs> that your ride? Now for a ride to Bradley and back on this lovely Bristol RV, Southern National.
Thank you. All right, thank you. So we've just come off the immaculate M5 again. It seems to be a London themed day today. This is also an LT vehicle, London transport vehicle. M5 was one of the first Metro buses built. Obviously, M meaning Metro bus and 5 meaning like the fifth one to be built. Um, and we've just had a nice run down to Kildwick. It was supposed to be going somewhere else, but due to some roadworks, had to do a different bit of a working. But we're still an incredible nice run and a very very lovely bus. Also joins in with the red style with a West Yorkshire RE and a Ribble Atlantean over there as well. And a trip out to Brawson Hall on this one. Hopefully now, that was our third to final bus. We've got a second to final bus coming up, hopefully on the town circular. We've already been on this one, however, um, we sat upstairs last time. So a nice front seat view to finish off the day um, on this lovely Bristol. So that was our second to last ride, now to wait for the bus doing the feeder back out of Skipton. 
And the final bus today, um, back on the feeder run, is EHL335, a lovely west riding half cab single. So that was the end of another sort of bus running day. A very, very good one. Actually, one of the first ones I went to um, as a young kid uh, many, many years ago now. A very nice bus day. Um, it's organised by the Air Valley Transport Group that's also closely affiliated with yesteryear um, sort of coaches who are a private hire firm. Um, so most of the vehicles that went on today, um, you can actually hire out. I'll leave the link to the yesteryear private hire um, in the description below so you can have a little look at their vehicles. And if you are interested in hiring them out, you can do that as well. And I'll also leave a link to the Skipton Bus Running Day site so you can keep updated and posted for their 2022 event that... Always takes place, their event always takes place in October and always starts from Skipton Bus Station but runs services around the Yorkshire Dales. I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. It's been nice to have a variety, very old buses and sort of modernish stuff but not too modern. It has been quite nice. If you have enjoyed this video, do be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more and I will see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.